Hi all and welcome to What's Cooking. Today we're cooking pulled pork quesadillas. I've already put in the pan some of them. I'm just heating up some of the leftover pulled pork that I actually cooked in my Ninja, which has a lot of functions. I'm gonna do a video on that one day. We have, we warmed our tortillas up in tin foil. There's two of them there. They're 10 inch tortillas or flour tortillas. And um, I added a little, when I cooked the pulled pork, I put some water on the bottom of the Ninja pan. And um, of course I seasoned the pulled pork with garlic, salt, and pepper. No, no salt, pepper, and I don't remember, a seasoning I believe. So I took some of that juice and put it on the bottom of this frying pan, which I don't even have turned on. So I'm heating it up in the juice to get it warmed up. And then Here's, this This was pretty full with pulled pork over here. Um, I also have more that I didn't even uh, cut up, which is in the refri in the freezer, freezer in freezer bags, because I'll make something else with that. So we're gonna make pulled pork tortillas. Oh, I know what I forgot. Okay, how am I gonna make it to the refrigerator? <laughs> You're gonna see. Let me go. I'm going to the refrigerator. I have a lot of stuff over here in my kitchen. We forgot. I knew I forgot something. I couldn't remember what it was. And it's the Baby Ray's Honey Barbecue Sauce. I forgot. I used to put it... Actually, I didn't forget. I used to mix it in with my pulled pork. When I, when I, every time I made pulled pork. But this time, I'm just putting it in the quesadilla. I actually did a video on this. And I don't know really how to cut and it was it was like 16 minutes and I did it a little bit different but um I think I messed up so I figured let me just do it again and hopefully this one comes out like I said we just want to warm this up so there's tons of ideas what you can put on the pulled pork and what I'm going to be putting on mine once I put it on the tortilla I'm going to put, put some of this we have this is a uh, sharp cheddar finely shredded you can get any cheese you want Swiss cheese would be really good I've done it with Swiss cheese before I got a little bit on the side in here is sour cream and then of course I'm gonna put on it the honey barbecue sauce but the ideas of endless what you can put on your toppings inside you could put tomatoes shredded lettuce like I said, any kind of cheese you want, no cheese at all, I, it's endless. So this is very simple and it's a fast, easy meal, especially if you've already cooked your pulled pork ahead of time, which I did. We're gonna have to see if this is, oh, I just turned the pan, I hadn't had the pan on, on uh, the stove on. Now it's on, we'll just get that heated up a bit. Today is Saturday, and um, I need to try to, I'm trying to eat leftovers and not waste food like I usually do. It's so hard just cooking for one person. So let's see, I've already had one quesadilla the other day, I ate three pieces of it and I took a piece to work yesterday. Oh, and I took some pulled pork on the first day, just put it on the side and had it with some mashed potatoes. That was another thing I took to work. So I gotta think of ideas for lunch and it's hard. So how's everybody doing? Happy fall. Hope everybody's staying well, not sick. All your families are well. Or heating this up. Everybody's doing, how's it called, Vlogtober. I don't really understand that. I don't know Vlogtober if you're supposed to just talk about a certain thing for 31 days or you're just vlogging every day. So wouldn't this be considered a vlog too? No clue. Let's see what else. It's kind of cold in my house today, so I'm probably a little bit chilly outside. I need to run some errands. I want to go to Michael's, and I want to go to Bed Bath & Beyond. And every weekend I say this, and then I don't go. But today I have a list, and um, I need to make a card for my grandson's birthday party. He turned five yesterday, which was Friday. And we're have they're having a party, family. Not not I I believe it's just family, nothing big. 
on Sunday, so I'm going to that. So, um, he loves Target. It's funny. He loves Target. He's just turning five from since he was a little kid, so he's getting a Target gift card because I'm sure he's going to buy a uh, game video with it. And then I also have something else for him. And I'm going to try to make him a card if I don't get lazy because I, I know how to make cards and I have all the stuff to make cards. You will not believe. One day I will show that all my uh, supplies. So this is, I see the smoke coming. Let's draw this around. This big, um, I forgot what these are called, these things. My brain is old. Came with my, this, with my Copper Chef pan, which I absolutely love. I always ruin my pans. It says don't cook it too high. And what do I do? Always. Like this pan, I'm going to be throwing in the garbage. I'm actually going to be, I'm not going to throw my Copper Chef but I need new pans, so I'm looking to see what I want. Probably order it online because I don't like to stay in the stores too uh, long. I haven't really gone. I haven't gone to a mall. I haven't done anything, really. I've gone to Michael's a few times. I'm sad that Pier 1 has closed. I never made it back before they closed. Now, at least by us, it's closed. And I have purchased a lot from Pier 1, and I'm going to miss that store for sure. Lots of things have called, closed around me in my town. Sad. Very sad. So, how about that? The president and uh, the missus are both sick now with the big C. Isn't that something? So this virus is non-ending here. Here we are, October already. Can't believe it. Summer was in the past now and I don't feel like it was summer because I didn't get to go anywhere I usually get to visit my family and that didn't happen because of the big C okay this is you know what I'm gonna actually have to taste this I think it's warm now I think it's warm because it's sizzling you know what I'm not even that hungry oh <laughs> my god boy I'm gonna have to eat it let's see I don't want that much Trying to get it on a fork. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Okay. It's warm enough. Oh, turn it back off. Uh, what we're going to do, I think I put too much. You don't need that much. So we're going over here. I'm just going to pile some on our tortilla, which we heated up in the oven. Said for 10 minutes you to wrap it in tin foil. The other night I did it in this pan, but I put butter and I shouldn't have. So and I did it backwards. I hadn't heated up the pork, so it was it was a whole thing. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of this pan. Put it over here. Oh now we got a piece. I can't I can't even pull this dish over here because the oven's too hot. So what we're gonna do next. Let's get the cheese, and I should have opened the bag, but no, it's not. It's hard to do this with one hand. So, pardon me a minute. You're gonna look at the ceiling for a minute until I can. I can't believe I did this. I'm gonna open this. Okay. Sorry, folks. Okay, so we're gonna take a. I'm just gonna take a handful. I don't know how this is going to melt now. And now I got it all over the burner. I didn't put a lot and it melted so quick. I'm putting a lot this time. Okay, all that. I'm going to take my barbecue sauce. Come on, baby rays. This makes it messy. That's probably a little bit too much. Then we're going to just put the top back on. I'm not sure why that top looks like that. And now we're going to have to slide this off the tin foil to cook it. Interesting. Ah, guys. Sorry about that. Alright. So I'm just smushing it down. And we're taking our pizza cutter and we're going to cut it into fours, hopefully. Whoa. 
Maybe I should have let it cool, cool down here. Last time I had the phone on my uh, stand, but it, it wasn't doing good. And now I'm not even doing good with this, cutting it. Oh my gosh. I already know what it tastes like since I had one a few days ago. It's not cutting good on this dish. <laughs> Come on. I'll be coming. I'm just going to cut that one piece so you can see it. I'm better at this as I do these. So, here's... Whoa, now that piece is kind of, should stay closed more. I don't know what the key to that is. I just cut it messy, though. So, that's your pulled pork. Let's taste. Yum, yum, yum. It's very good. So these are so simple to make. I mean, you could do it with any meat or just vegetables if you like. I'm going to actually dip sour cream when I eat these pieces. So, come back for more videos. Last night I did a treat video. So check it out. And this is What's Cooking. And this is Rindy signing out. Y'all be safe now. Bye.